yep, back out. Third wild camp. Something a bit different this time. You can see the film Into the Wild, where he, um, he goes into the wild, finds an old bus, like an old, um, like an old workman's bus, and it's been converted into like a bothy. Well, it didn't end well for him. But us being us, have done exactly that. We've come into the wild, like the film. And we've got the find of the century. We're gonna, we are literally gonna sleep on this, in this. Come and have a look. All aboard! Oh, yeah, I'll have a 50 pence return, please. Where to? Back here. Boosh. There we go. All mod cons. You got your sink, gas cooker. Um, you've got ventilation. And luxury, luxury cabin accommodation. And there, there's a little wood burning stove. What made us decide, right, to stay here? It was the 4th of May, somebody was here. People have been staying here just recently, so we're doing it. We are doing it. You got the bedrooms. It's, it's the lower deck. Ooh, this is the top deck. Don't know who's sleeping where. I haven't worked that out yet. That's locked. It just leads to the. Uh, there's another bed in there, but the, the window's out and the, the skylight's out, so it's no good. <laughs> what are we doing? We're buzzing. We're absolutely buzzing. So we're gonna get our stuff there, we're stuffed together. I've already given it a little sweep. It's a doer up, eh? I'll give it that. But you know. Look. Tongue and groove. Oh, my nemesis. My flipping nemesis. If you watch my other channel, Camp of Van Andy's Camp of Van, you'll know what I mean. Alright, so anyway, we're gonna. I'm just gonna give this a little wipe down, and I've got some wet wipes so I can give it a clean. Good though, eh? Because the forecast's rain tonight, and it's blowing a gale as well, again. And this is Harris. This is not the Lake District. This is the Isle of Harris, where it gets properly wild. Not just wild, properly wild. Alright, so we'll come back. Hey, Rob's come back. Hello. What's it like? What's it like on the new magical mystery oh, bus? I'm loving it. It's the magic bus 142 on the Isle of Harris. <laughs> I love it. It is, isn't it? What so a we've find. Got, we've got a little kitchen set up. I'll give that a good wipe, good clean. So, so we've got the, some fire logs for that. May get a bit of smoke coming out of there, but it's no, out. We've, uh, we've blocked the vent. Because we're expecting rain, like we don't want it piling in. So that's it. So I've got also I was sitting itching, so I've set my tiny repel away. I put a I put the pan in there. You just slot it, just slot it in, and then you click it on. Well, this is on camp mode, and that gives you um. What did I say? It gave thirty-seven feet of oh, area or something. Like but it's heating up now, so. You, you wait about 10 minutes, then you click it again, it goes red, and it goes on to outdoor mode. And I didn't demonstrate the magneticness of it very well in the original, so that's, that is probably stuck there. That's a metal surface. So yeah, we'll see. I think the, I think the essence comes out there. Let's like see, you can hang it up. It's got a light on it, so I'll put the light on later. Pretty bright, like. So that's it, the flex tail tiny repel. Let's see if it works, eh? There's no in here, I don't think. There was a, it, a couple of little black things flying about before, but. Me too, guys. I don't think they were midges. Yeah, yeah. Definitely not yeah. mosquitoes, but that should keep anything that comes in out. Anyway, back to this. <laughs> 
Not right, oh. It's a light find, isn't it? Oh, Love it's it. a good life on the buses. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, I hate you. Oh, I hate life, life on the road. Uh, we just got to get it started and we're off. We need to, we need to play um, the Into the Wild soundtrack, Andrew. Yeah. That's what we need to be playing. Whatever that is. I'll have to look it up. Have you all seen the film? Aye. There you go. It's Eddie Vedder. Alright. Is, is it film buff him like? There's no he doesn't know about films. <laughs> Let's have a look outside. Eh? Up against. <laughs> I've taxed worse, like. Probably. Ah, oh, get it, man. There's a story behind it. It's been here since 2005. It was donated to the Scouts when the caravan they used to use got destroyed in a really bad storm. So it must have been a big static caravan and it just got destroyed. So somebody donated this and they did it all out, like with all the units you see inside. Um, and the scouts used it for years, but obviously they just, I mean, look at it. You wouldn't use it now, would you? Like, it must be, I've actually not been around this side. Still got the wheels on it, man. <laughs> All right, so that's the story. The story goes. But if you have, if you've seen that film, Into the Wild, you'll know what we're on about. <laughs> it's a bit mad, but it's different, isn't it? It's very different. So there you go. Well, we're getting um, we're getting cosy now. We're getting comfortable. We've literally, we've actually moved in. Oh, see the bedrooms. That's Rob on the top bunk. Cosy. I'll have to give him a leg up, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the bottom. With me, uh, me little lantern there. It's oh, nice, man. Comfortable. So if you come bring like a um bring a something to put down on this because there's some little um splinters to protect your mat. Got me quilt in case it gets cold. But yeah. Ah oh, looking forward to going in there. I'm not like I'm only saying that because Rob is buzzing and I'm really panicking about sleeping here. I don't like it. I don't like it. There might be creatures. Which just makes you wonder, doesn't it, what went on on this bus, like all the um all the trips we've got the name of it. So we're gonna we're gonna research the McLennan was it McLennan's, was it? McLennan's travel, I think. Alright, we're gonna research, see what they say. What we do, we have moved in. Got a little hook there for this gas lantern. That'll make it cosy. We're going to try that. We're not sure what's going to happen with this, with the fumes and that, but we're going to try it anyway. I mean, I was outside before, we lit some paper in, and it was coming out the chimney outside, so it should be alright. Yeah, the rain's on now, but we're nice and dry. Eee! And out the wind. The wind. Oh, it's blowing a bloody. It's windy then, it's not, isn't it? It's weird. Nah, it's not too bad at the minute, but. 
just reading the book, apparently the cows come and surround you in the morning. We don't care about that. The cows will not get on, will they? The cows must like it here because you can see how it's all muddied like it. Aye. There, isn't it? Aye, this is the little stamping ground out here. And you can't see. Right, we'll just carry on with our night. I can't wait till it's dark. Mm. Cozy. Whew! Well, we've, we've got off the bus. Just come for a walk to see the sea. See the lovely beaches. Colour, the sand's amazing. All the mountains over there. That's Rob. We would probably have pitched up here if we'd stayed with the tents idea. We just saw the bus and we just thought, oh, we can't, we can't not sleep on the bus. We'll never get that chance again. So we did it. But yeah, that's the golden sands. Lovely. Very nice. It's starting to rain now as well. We're miles away from the bus. I think. I think it's like two. Two tides comes in from there as well. And there's, a, there's a big sandbar here. Mm. I don't think it comes in. There's a lot of sand. There's also a lot of sheep. And a lot of sheep sh stuff. All right, I'm gonna go down. Join me partner in crime. I right, just thought we'd have a look at the beach. Right as well. It'd be lovely if it was on a really hot day here. Yeah. Well, it hasn't gone well. We've got uh, to take the ventilation down. It's just gone. It was thought it was a good idea to wrap tin foil around that. Got it going anyway, but a nice weight one. It's uh, it's causing a lot of fumes, so we've had to take drastic measures. And the rain's just going to come straight in there. Anyway, I've chopped the mushrooms up. We've got some nice, nice rice, mixed peppers and savoury chicken. A couple of nice ribeyes. Tesco's finest. Butter for the mushrooms, sauces, water for when the fire gets eventually gets out of control, beer, milk for the morning, crisps for when we have to throw the food away because it's contaminated. That's it, it's all good. It's all good apart from that fire's thrown out some heat, man. Best of it. Do you think it was removed deliberately then? I think it might have been. But we've got quite a bit on there, I think a bit too much. Only just keep it a little bit down a bit, yeah. Just put one on every so uh, often. So and if, one. if we end up with logs dry left over, we'll just leave them for the next person. As you do. Leave the kindling as well. And the fire lighters. But yeah, it's nice and cozy and it's like it's yeah. like home, it's like being at home actually. Right. Just as a point of note, this is the that's the flex tail light in action. Lighting up the cooking area. Right. Good. So here we are in uh, the camping van, the magic bus kitchen, isn't it? Right. We've got the mushrooms on. Mushrooms browned off. I'm teaching, I'm teaching Rob how to cook. Get away. <laughs> I'm teaching my granny how to soak eggs. What we've decided is, right, if we die from carbon monoxide poisoning, which is likely, highly likely, we're going to come back and haunt this bus. So if you come here, chances are we'll give you a wee tap. We probably won't die, like, but you know, you never know. You might. Mm -hmm. They get hit by a bolt of lightning, something, I don't know. Anything that happens. 
two unit. Yeah, there's the steaks ready. It's like a proper five star Michelin restaurant, doesn't it? It really does. I've been in worse restaurants than this way, like, in re worse restaurant kitchens. <laughs> I worked in a restaurant kitchen in Hong Kong and I was like, every five minutes I was picking the cockroaches off, off the counter. Yeah. Uh -huh. Steaks are on. Did it come from you again? Hmm? Did it come from your car? No, you can keep my car. Well, that's the bigger you not be there. I'll keep my car, right? We're going to cut the cans up and try and make it, um, <laughs> try to fill that gap. <laughs> it it melt under that. Is that heat coming off that? They'll just melt like this. That's filled the weed off that thing. Yeah, aluminium. We need to think. It, we're actually in a survival situation now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we are. Because if we don't plug that, we're going to... Well, we're going to just go to the eternal sleep. Simple as that. There's the blood coming out, right? So it's time to turn it over when that happens. Ooh. That's it, it's done. See if the steak is in there somewhere. I'll put all the, the rice and the mushrooms on. It's dead tender, it's just falling apart. Oh, same. Lovely. Big plateful. Mm -hmm. Clear up now. I'm going to sit and we're going to trough the lot. A wee bit. Right, so we're just sitting chilling out by the fire after that lovely meal. How was your steak, Rob? It was delicious. Oh, you've, missed, you've missed it, man. What? How was the steak, Rob? Oh, sorry, I'm fucking concentrating oh, on this. Honestly, man, it's like, honestly. Um, direct and ominous. I've ruined the whole thing. Yeah, the whole video has to be scrapped because of you. Mr. Q. He's just stoking up the fire. Stoker. Stoker needs to be here. He's a stoker. Right. Got this engineering. We have actually done a miracle here with these beer cans. That was uh, all the... Oh, with the flame licking out. All the smoke was coming out. Where you see where them beer cans are? There was loads of smoke coming out, but look. There's loads of holes. Right, loads of holes. Holes in the tin foil. Put tin foil on. Tin foil just can't burn. But we have come up with a genius idea. We are geniuses. We'll cut some cans open and we'll just plug the big hole. So anybody who comes here after us, you can thank we later. That's saving your lives. We might not actually die of carbon monoxide poison after all. However, if you've ever seen the film Into the Wild, he ate magic mushrooms, didn't he? He did. And we've had magic well, mushrooms. Well, that's tonight. whether he did or not. Well, that's that's the theory. Well, that's a theory. He probably just died of starvation, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. But he did write in the diary that he did at these mushrooms, and they found the toxicology report he found mushrooms in his system. So I don't know. But we've had mushrooms, so we are actually doomed. But we will haunt the place, like, I'm oh, well. definitely haunting this. I'm going to come back as a, um, like a skeleton bus driver with a cat on. <laughs> you know, the one. Sitting on the toilet. Aye, uh, sitting on the toilet <laughs> and driving the bus in. <laughs> All the driver's seat used to be. <laughs> All aboard! And you can be there going, Oh, good, oh, good, I hate you, butler. <laughs> oh, anyway, it's enough It's impressive. It's fabulous. It's fantastic. Anybody comes here, right, I'll tell you what, right. If you can find it, you've done well, because we just absolutely just happened upon it. I don't think there's anything on the internet about it. So, that's it. We're going to turn off the camera, finish off a few beers, and just chill out on our last wild camping night. So that's it. We've uh, we've drunk all the beer. The fire's dying down. We had a good neat, amazing night. Is this sort sort of thing you always dreamed of? It is. It really is. It's. I mean, it, I never dreamed I'd come across anything like this. It's amazing. It's everything you could hope for.
Fished. I think you need to set your sights a little bit higher. Like. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I ask for much relief really to be well, we, should tell, we should tell people about your affinity with the film Into the, the Wield. In the story of Into the Wield. Yeah, so it does. It hits home with me, like. Yeah. We'll not go into details, but. No. I'm glad. I'm glad you're happy. So we're going to go to bed now. Into the bedroom of doom. Jesus. The bedroom of death. Oh, it's cold now. Like, ah, you bugger. There's a low ceiling, a low door frame, which I've smashed my head off about 12 times. So I'm in there. He's in there. I'm going to give him a leg up. I'm going to give you, I'll give you a bunk up. It's lovely and warm in here like that. The fire has been kicking it right heat. It has. It's been really hot. <laughs> The sheep are all settled down. That's this, it. Place, this place really is amazing, man. It really is. Look at that. I don't need to tell this up on. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's it. We're going to bed, right? Tomorrow morning, we'll get up, we'll sign the book, we'll clean up, and we will leave the place spotless. And we'll see if we've got anything that we can leave behind for the next person. Right? We'll see you tomorrow. Both. All right. Ah, oh, you bugger! I banged my head again. I banged my head last night. And cut me flipping heat. Anyway, under there, it's very tight. So it's all tidied up, and we've tidied up in here. I've just got the bags to pack away. Left the left a little note in the book. Not just finishing off the dishes so that's the uh, the camp done magic bus 142 this is the magic bus 143 which is one more enjoy that rob loved it never forget it i'll never forget it forget what all right uh, good night like we just sat up till about two o'clock last night just sitting chilling out totally chilled out Cows are having their breakfast, as are the sheep. We're off to the Isle of Skye now, but we're going on a, um, a campsite. So there's no more camp, wild camping videos. Look at me here, man. Look at this. It's sticking up all over the place. So we'll see you when we see you. <laughs>